Now you could be thinking to yourself, hey, why don't you dig into the really tough issue here? And that is, how do you explain one God, three persons? And I would say to you, that's for a class maybe. But not here on Sunday. Here instead, we want to introduce ourselves to the mystery of the Trinity. We want to introduce ourselves to the mystery of God's love. We want to introduce ourselves to the mystery of the fact that Jesus came to save us. And you know, sometimes a mystery is not something we need to solve. A mystery instead is something to be lived. And so as Christians, we live out the mystery of God's love for us. That love which is expressed to us in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. One God, three persons. But all of it bound up into the love that God shares with every one of us. Now, what is that love? How would God describe himself? Well, amazingly enough, he does that this morning. He does that in the book of Exodus, and he says to us, the Lord, the Lord, or in another way of putting it, Yahweh, Yahweh, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. That's God's own description. He's talking to Moses. Moses and he are having one of their conversations, and the Lord God says to Moses, the Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. That's God's description of God. And what is that saying to us? It says, that our God is a God of love. He's slow to anger. Yes, maybe we don't do what we should do all the time. It's okay. He's going to learn how to be patient. He's going to learn how to be able to deal with us, even though we are a pretty stiff-necked people sometimes. The good Lord learns how to work with us. The good Lord loves us and slow. He is very slow to anger. And he is rich in his kindness and in his fidelity. He is faithful to us. He loves us. So after God describes himself, Moses has another little piece of the conversation, and he says to the Lord, if I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. I love that. Moses invites God to come along. Join us. Be with us, the people of God. understands how much God loves his people and we are his people. And so we invite the Lord to come along with us. We do it every time we celebrate a liturgy here at the cathedral or wherever you might celebrate a liturgy. We invite God to come along with us, to be a part of our prayer. 
It is living the mystery of the Trinity. It says we understand God's presence in our midst. We understand how much God loves us. And we ask the Lord to come along with us. Now, today is Father's Day. And I'm going to urge every father in this community to be like God. And you say to yourself, especially the fathers, uh, isn't that kind of raising the bar a little high? I only have to be like God? Well, think about it this way. How did God describe himself? He said, I am slow to anger, rich in kindness and fidelity. So dads, I want you to concentrate on those three, just those three qualities of God. When you deal with your children, dads, and I don't care how old they are. Regardless of how old they get to be, they're still your kids. But when you deal with them, be slow to anger. When you deal with those children, be rich in your love. Nourish them as God nourishes us with love. And when you deal with those children and our Father to them, remain faithful to them forever as God remains faithful to all of us. And I believe if you are able fathers, to be imitative of God in those three virtues that he offered to us himself, then you will hear those beautiful words from your children that Moses first spoke to God. Do Come along with us.